I did. Yeah. I knew she had the Yeah, I went there a couple times. I thought, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we have head coach Latricia Trammell, Natasha Howard, and Arike Gumbawale. If you have questions for our Zoom participants, just use the raise hand function and we'll get to you. And anyone in person, I'll start with Dorothy. Coach, congrats on the win. Talk Thank about you. the keys to the win tonight. I think it was team effort. I mean, someone did something that we needed in, in whatever possession on, on both sides of the basketball. And, you know, everyone's going to remember there at the end. But, you know, like I said, each, each one contributed in, a, in an incredible way. And so when you have players that can do that, and it doesn't have to all fall on one, uh, that's, that's when you know you're going to head in the right direction and do some great things. I can read them all off, too, those double doubles and the shots at the end and the rebounds and the blocks. Maddie hit a big three. You know, that was um, – I mean, everyone got in. Everyone contributed. Uh, we only had two that were in the negative. Everyone else ended the game on a positive. And, uh, yeah, it's the pain point, 60 to 42. Second chance points, 26 to 12. Okay, you get the picture. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> You guys chuckled about it at the beginning. Um, Enrique, 38 minutes. Natasha, 36 minutes. How do we manage that going throughout the rest of the season? Uh, <laughs> do my best. <laughs> do my best. No, it's funny that you say that. We were up here laughing because we discussed that prior to going in about we were going to work those minutes a little bit better, but they were doing so good, you know, and I, I get it, and that's, that's probably more on me, but... Um, I try to get them out when I could you know, for that one minute or two minutes that they had. But they were just, that says a lot about them. I just trust them, you know, and rely on them so much. But, yeah, I've got to do better on that in that area. We talked about it, but now we got to do the action part. Con congratulations on the win. Thank you. Coach, early in the game, uh, the sky, they, were, they, managed, they managed to get a double-digit lead, but they couldn't put you guys away. Um, how confident were you that if you guys were able to keep the game close that you were going to pull the game out in the end? Well, we know basketball is a game of surges, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just got to weather the storm because we were going to go on our runs as well. And, and I love this because I can say it. It may not mean as much, but when we're in the timeout and I'm walking in and I'm hearing them say it uh, from your veteran leaders, it, it, it means a lot more, and so I love that. That's growth <coughs> from last season to this one, uh, but we just kept saying just one possession at a time. Coach, speaking, speaking on growth from last season to this season, what's your assessment on Maddie Segrist, you know, her development from last year to now? Maddie's always ready. You know, I mean, that is one thing that she did. And a lot of people don't realize this, but she had a procedure on her knee. She was, she was, we didn't ever mention that last season, uh, but she rehab, came back and played AU. Uh, but we know she's uh, Maddie Buckets for a reason, right? But what she has enhanced is her defense. Mm -hmm. And I think she's one of the best, too, of rebounding the percentages, knowing when they're coming off. Um, and, and she's uh, to have, you know, 13 points, I believe, uh, tonight. And, but also with Maddie, they trust her. You know, and, and the rest of the team. I mean, they everyone likes Maddie, so I'm proud of her. Let's go to Asia Cop. Hi. Uh, this question is uh, for Howard and uh, Wally. Um How were uh, how are y'all able to pull off Mabry in that fourth quarter? Because I mean, y'all really found that fire. Yeah, um, I mean, Marina Mabry, you know, hopefully she'll be an all-star this year. She's had a lot of great years, but so hopefully yeah. she gets that nod. But she's an amazing player. Obviously, I played with her my whole four years of college and played with her two or three years here. And she doesn't stop. She doesn't stop fighting. But, you know, as a team, we, we held good team defense. It's hard to guard her one-on-one -on because -one she can go to the basket, she can shoot. But we kept an eye on her as a whole, and we were help side. So it takes a team effort to stop her. But like I said, she's an amazing player. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Uh, Tasha, a physical game on you know, by both teams. Uh, talk about the ways uh, Chicago challenged your team. Uh, well, actually, Chicago challenged all of us, but it didn't stop us from what we were doing on the defense and offensive end, and that's what we are really good at 
now it's our defense and our defense helped us a lot on the offensive end and Chicago couldn't hang with us with our speed, our versatile post players mm -hmm. and also T and Lonnie and the paint they can't they can't stop us. But overall we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna clean up some things starting on Friday and and see what Chicago gonna do, how they're gonna switch up their defense and stuff. Good questions for Enrique. You've been dubbed the clutch queen, and, well, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, your coach just spoke about this, that you know basketball has scoring and flurries. What is it about those last five minutes during clutch time? Again, you just, it just clicks. Uh, honestly, this time I was dead. It was like the, you know, I think we had like five minutes left. It was a timeout, and I was dead. But honestly, uh, Maddie came to me, and she was just like, the Lord renews your strength. And I just got a burst. It was crazy. So I appreciate her. She's always talking to me. As a second year, that's big of her to, you know, come to me and, talk to me and you know support me but it takes a whole team so definitely uh takes a lot of strength from God but also as a team you know we kept it together and you know I love I love those type of moments also so you now I was prepared for it. Congratulations. Congratulations. All the time. Natasha and Enrique talk about the new pieces on the squad and how you guys have kind of come together. The new pieces that we have on the team they're good. Mm -hmm. They're good. You see they coming off the bench helping us out when we get subbed out and stuff so that's a really good a, a good boost for us to get a little break and stuff coming, uh, you know, for them to come in and stuff. But overall, I feel like we did a good job of drafting good, good players and also from the players we drafted last year. So it's a really good piece on how we put everything all together all at once for what? Fourth, yeah. Yeah. Camp, so it's a, and only one preseason game. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. And I mean, we have one rookie in JC, but she's she's a little older, you know, for her yeah. to be a rookie. So she has that. And Seb, obviously, she's a rookie, but she's been playing with pros at Fenerbahce her whole life. So that's nothing new to her to play, you know, against pros. And then Jalen, she's been playing pro overseas. So even though they're rookies, they they have you know uh, experience. So you know, I love that. And then Lou, obviously, she sat a year and didn't come. Steph sat a year, so they've watched. They've been around pros, so you know, it's easy for them to come in and you know do what they do. We'll go to Jordan Grace. Hello, ladies. Congrats on the win. Thank you. So my question is for any one of y'all. So one of the things that stood out to me was the ball movement. Enrique, you had seven misses. Natasha, you had five. So just talk about how important the ball movement was. So I feel like that's what kind of got your offense going. Coach always talk about swing the ball. Don't keep the ball in one spot because if we do, the defense is going to relax. So with that, we just got ball movement and got Chicago off balance and stuff, and that's when we had great open shots, lanes, good assists, dishing off the tee. Like, you know, we did an amazing job of swinging the ball left and right and also penetrating and open and looking for the wide open shots and layups and stuff. So I feel like we did a really good job. We tried, we triggered it from practice to the game. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. We'll go to Brad Lake. Hi, hey, ladies. How are you? Brad Lake, WPB Nation, WNBA, Swish. Hi there. Your um, defense really found its rhythm tonight. Uh, you had um, 12 blocks and seven. They count one block. I had one block and I hope it got counted. <laughs> we gotta check on that. You speak of how well this defensive trick is playing and what you're gonna see from them in Saturday's game. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there were, you know, there, we had lapses, but sure. we are um, ahead of where we were last season. And so that that's really exciting. We have a, a lot of players that are wanting to get on those defensive teams and defensive player of the year. And so our mind has shifted a little bit. I know we can score the basketball, but the separation is going to be that defense. And so I know, I know without a doubt, uh, we're going we're gonna to really enhance our defense this season in the league. I wanted to ask uh, Rike and Natasha, um, Angel Reese, one of the biggest stars, what do you guys think of her debut today? I think her performance was solid. Like, hands down, her defense was solid. I <laughs> told her after the game, like, keep working on your game. Like, you're going to be the next face to for the WNBA. game. So just keep, keep doing what you're doing, and I'm proud of you. That's great. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, you know, all the rookies, they brought a lot of fans to the WNBA, and we all appreciate that, obviously. Uh, you know, the game is shifting from the older players to the newer players, and they're bringing a lot of great energy. And, you know, she's a great player on and off the court. She's doing what she needs to do for women, for the W. And she, this is her first game. Obviously, she has a long career, but this is a good start for her. So I think she's going to keep getting better. Natasha, uh, Coach mentioned you all being veterans on the team. I'm curious, how do you balance the ebbs and flow of the season throughout the journey? I know it's game one, but how do you kind of balance that? Uh, you take it day by day. Just focusing on us in practice and focusing on the little things that we need to work on every single day for 
we could have that muscle in our head. So when we playing the game, it was already there, it was already clicking. So uh, like today, everything we've been doing in practice is actually clicking in the game. So he's going to keep building on that every single game, every single practice. Time for one more. Eric Martinez, New Stitch Media. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Um, just a quick question. I know you were talking about defense, and it looked like late in the third, um, it looks like we, you know, you locked in defensively, and when it came to scoring points off of turnovers, it seemed that was key towards down the stretch of the fourth, and it looked like it started in the third. Uh, can you talk about in terms of defense and scoring points off of turnovers, fast breaks? Yeah, 24 points. That, yeah, that's all right. Your day off tomorrow. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's something we, we talk about all the time. And so to do that on the first game, uh, that's uh, our standards are high. So we've got to continue to, to stay consistent with that and not be satisfied. But, yeah, I'm very proud of them. Perfect. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone give Reek her block. <laughs> 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 I didn't have it.